again. 60 frames a second on Soul Calibur. Oh. If you're worried about your fans, that's how it sounds. So the 555X with the slow CPU built this project faster than the faster CPU. The older graphics cards is going to get you better battery life for some reason. <sighs> What's this? Another MacBook Pro with Touch Bar 2018? <laughs> Alright, this is the Vega 16 i7 MacBook Pro with Touch Bar 2018 version 2 revision called whatever the hell just happened. Now, the reviews are already out about Vega 20 and we know it's fast. It's faster than the 560X so if you're a powerholic, get one of those. But this review is going to be slightly more scientific, slightly more analytical. It's going to be about power efficiency. I've got the 555X against the Vega 16. Which one has the better performance? Which one has the better fan profile curls? Which one is actually going to enable you to work with an external monitor plugged in and cool and relax and all that kind of stuff? I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to continue to spill. But after, I fast forward into the future and tell you the results. Take it away, Ash from the future. Hey, woo! Hey, what's up? Alright, um, just copying everything over to make these Macs exactly the same. One big hurdle I've got is uh, the new guys, they come with Mojave. So, I'm gonna find out so you can install High Sierra on them. So unfortunately, you can't. But I have a feeling it's gonna be drivers and you're gonna have to need Mojave. The problem with Mojave is it does run slower than High Sierra. Hopefully it will get fixed soon, but that's the current state as it is. Anyway, I'm gonna start off with performance and efficiency. I'm gonna do some testing. So, these new GPUs, they do run 30 percent more power efficient what does that mean it means that yes it is using less power yes it will use less power when it's plugged in into an external monitor however it's not gonna make that much difference in life because um the thing is these uh, gpus they take about 10 watts when an external monitor is plugged in 30 percent of that is 7 watts so these guys with an external monitor plugged in take seven watts. And the thing is, what they've done is they've boosted the clock speeds of the newer GPUs by that 30% that they've saved on. So it means um, your applications, applications that want 3D graphics, they're gonna run faster, yes, by 30%, but because uh, programmers, they're not really, um, they're not nice people. They take as much power as they can get. And uh, the thing is, um, with, with applications, if they are GPU intensive, they're gonna use as much of the GPU as possible. And this guy was jumping just to 30 watts. So the 555X is limited to 30 watts, whereas this guy went all the way to 45. Yowzers. That's it, that's the report there. I'm gonna now take that thesis, thesis, thesis. I'm gonna take that thesis and I'm gonna be running it with um, Xcode and Final Cut Pro and then over do some Windows gaming and just see how that, 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 those stats translate into real world performance improvements. I'm just syncing everything up, taking a while. Wish me luck. Three, two, one. You got 68,000 versus 49,000. It's actually running faster with an external monitor plugged in. Next up, gonna be doing a bit of Final Cut Pro. So as you can see, it still struggles on those overlays. So you won't be getting any improvement there. So I'm gonna render out this section, show you how long it takes. Is that it? 10 seconds. Hmm. So I've got an iPad simulator here and two Xcode screens. Three, two, one, go. And it's compiled, deploying. This isn't a graphically intensive app and the highest I can get the fans going, they're about 2,500 on this configuration. And uh, yeah, the fans are around 2,500. So you're pretty safe if you're just doing some general basic iOS app development. Either way. Still, you know, can't really tell much difference between the two, to be honest. And wow, this one actually completed it faster. I feel this one's a lot more sluggish. Let's see. Yeah, oh, yeah. 
as the one on the right is definitely faster. We're back. It looks like the fans here are 4,500 and the fans here are 4,800. You know, I want to run it one more time. Yeah, the one on the right is definitely faster. So you are getting better graphics on the right, 100%. There's no doubting that. Question is though, do you need it or is it better off getting an eGPU? Because I feel like you still need a bit more performance if you want to hit those settings. Let's hit quit. And over here, we've got 4,000 and over here, you've got 4,500. So the better graphics does come at a cost now. And this guy was jumping just to 30 watts. So the 555X is limited to 30 watts, whereas this guy went all the way to 45. Yowzers. And 720p. It was about the same, to be honest. I was just kidding. I'm actually in Mac. Haha, <laughs> parallels, butcher fans are going 3,700. And on this guy, 555X, it's only uh, 2,000. Now, it's the Radeon Pro 555X running 600 megahertz. Do some nice rewarding for watching this video. It's a, a good game, all right. Yeah, it seems constant 60. Uh, how am I gonna... You know, you know, we, we're, we're meant to be comparing graphics cards. So, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this. All right, I've now put it on this uh, big ultra wide display because I want it to run a bit slower, basically. Oh, okay, that's fast. That's nice. Oh, it, feels, it feels a bit slow. Oh, the graphics are awesome, but it's, it feels slow. 45 frames a second, 30. Nice, no, still slow look. Alright, now it's medium. Yeah, this is 60. This is fast. This is fast now. Alright, so you get from low to medium when you switch. I'm losing. Too distracted. Yowzers. Yo, yeah, hello. Yeah, that, that girl you picked is really nice. If you're worried about your fans, that's how it sounds. Yeah, boy. Work it. That's enough. Let's get back to some work. Macos work. Alright, now it's the dreaded battery life test. Let's do it one by one. Maximum brightness. And let's start with YouTube and some gaming on YouTube. Let's go into the battery. Let's see, this percentage is 77%, and this guy's percentage is 74%. Wow. It's, uh, this guy says it's draining at 17.8. This guy says he's draining at 18.5. So, it looks like this configuration with the older graphics cards, is going to get you better battery life for some reason. Oh, all right. Um, hello, future past Ash. Sorry, just uh, it's uh, 2 a.m. So I'm just going to, um, where am I? I've been been doing this for <laughs> I don't know how many hours. Anyway, I, I want to keep it simple to so use the results. So uh, where do I start? Um, battery life. I was getting better battery life. Um, with the 555X than the, the Vega 16, surprisingly. Uh, the Vega 16, it uses between 4 to 45 watts. 45 was the, the highest. And uh, the 555X, that uses um, slightly more, 4.5 to a maximum of 30 watts. So when uh, the Vega 16 is pumping the good graphics, it is um, demanding a lot of battery power. For example, when I was doing Unity 3D, building the project and uh, actually built faster on my slower i7 with the 555X graphics than on the, the Vega 16. However, running um, the project, and I had a, a nice 3D project running there, 
uh, it ran faster definitely on the Vega 16. It felt 30% faster. And that makes sense because um, the 555X is clocked at 900 megahertz, whereas the Vega 16, that one's clocked at 1,200, and the Vega 20, that's clocked at 1,300. Uh, so basically what they've done is um, with the power consumption savings they've made by switching to HBM2 memory. HBM2 memory, if you don't know, is about 50% the power consumption of the GDDR5 inside the, the um, 555 and the 560X. So they've, they've saved that power and they've pumped it into the clock speed. So what that means is these Vega graphics cards can run 30% faster than um, than the 555X and the 560X because um, Vega 20 goes at 1.3 gigahertz and uh, the 560X goes at one gigahertz. So that's where the 30% comes from. There's slight, oh, check, there's some slight tweaks, but um, that's what they've got. Now, that's not to say it's not bad because um, with an external monitor plugged in, the 555X would draw around 10 watts of power uh, from the GPU with uh, an external monitor plugged in with the Vega 16 that one was drawing about seven so there's a free watt saving there it's not that much to be honest it's, it's nothing when it comes down to the amount of wattage the, the CPUs ask for but what it does do it um, if you basically these max they, they eat a lot of power um, battery life is around three hours if you're doing stuff with it you can usually do this uh, hack where you disable um, turbo boost and that makes the, the CPUs run at their, uh, their base clock speeds. What that means is the 2.2 i7 runs at 2.2 gigahertz and that means it draws 25 watts of power. Whereas uh, the 2.6, that one runs at 2.6, it's base clock and that ends up drawing 33 watts of power. So you're potentially saving three watts with an external monitor with the, the Vega 16, but you're losing out eight watts if you do that sort of hack. So uh, yeah, it's a bit 50-50. Now, um, Final Cut Pro X, now that one was a bit interesting. So rendering out a clip, and this is just a rendering task, that one was around three to 10% faster than the 555X. And I'll say three to 10 because I, I did the test multiple times and uh, sometimes it'd be 3%. Most of the times actually was 3%, and some of the times, one, one of the times, it was 10%, just one. So, obviously, it depends on the kind of clips you're running. With mine, um, it was a multicam clip, so I had uh, two camera angles, and I had a couple of effects on top um, with the color and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got. I got about 3%. One thing to be aware of, and uh, this could be a deal breaker for some people, these Macs uh, with uh, the Vega, or maybe any Macs made now, we'll find out, is uh, they come with Mojave installed. And I tried downgrading to High Sierra and it wouldn't let me. There's probably a way around it. You could probably turn off T2 security, burn it as a disk image and try your luck there. Or the drivers might be baked into Mojave, which is why it is unsupported to downgrade to High Sierra at the moment. So there's no easy way to go back to High Sierra there might be some hacks so that could be a bit dangerous because Mojave is actually slower than High Sierra for example in Cinebench I could be getting um, over 90 frames a second on my 555X whereas um, yeah the OpenGL was it was horrendous I was getting between 60 to 80 frames a second there so that was a uh, that was a big drop in performance going from High Sierra to Mojave hopefully it will improve in the next few versions but I feel like um, you're probably going to need to wait until next year's Mac OS to get the performance improvements. You know, Sierra, High Sierra, they always have a, an improvement release. Xcode, it's pretty much the same. No difference there. Uh, yeah, no difference there. Gaming, um, in parallels, when I, I did some tests uh, with Grand Theft Auto V, I didn't really notice any difference. In Boot Camp, Soul Calibur VI, now this, is, um, this could be fun. Uh, fan noise was obviously bad because it's maxing out the GPU and the GPU can use up to 45 watts and if it's using up to 45 watts you know you can uh, the fan profiles but in Soul Calibur 6 I was um, gaming on an ultra wide monitor this is 1440p so it's around 2k equivalent so um, when I tried gaming on a 555x I could run it 
um, 60 frames a second only if I use low quality, whereas with the Vega 16, I could run it with 60 frames a second using medium quality. All right, that's a comprehensive guide, I hope, of the review. Of course, I'll be posting everything at the end of this video. Sorry, I'm just a bit, a bit tired at the moment, but I hope that's a bit useful for you. I think, uh, man, it's, it's, it's tricky. If you, it's pretty much like the i9 situation. Like with the i9, I found that on certain applications, you'd get double digit performance. And that was primarily like heavy scientific maths that tackled the L3 cache. That's what really helped out there. But um, generally it was single digit performance over the other ones, but it was an improvement. If you're of course a motorhead, you want the fastest and the best and uh, the, Vega, the Vega cards are faster, definitely, definitely faster. So you probably want that and you probably don't care about the money if you're upgrading these Macs. Whereas uh, I think probably, well, it depends on how well they develop, but maybe an eGPU solution might be the better choice because when you use an eGPU, you can just turn off the dGPU or it won't eat into it. And that one is a big driver of the amount of wattage that takes away from the CPU. And these Intel CPUs, they like eating as much watts as possible. So when you deprive them of the watts and give it to the GPU, you're gonna have a slow computer. So probably the best solution out there is some sort of eGPU because who needs to, you know, if you're gonna be gaming when you're on a laptop with no battery, then you're probably, uh... so that is that. I hope that helped. I don't know what, what are you guys going to get the, the Vega? I'm probably uh, not. Yeah, I don't think it's probably if I had the choice, I would have got it and I would have loved it. But because I've already invested in a MacBook Pro this year, I'm just thinking, yeah, it's, it's not worth, you know, trying to return it. I, I don't want to beg Apple, you know, that kind of stuff. I'm not I'm not a beg friend. And uh, selling on eBay, that could be very risky. I probably lose thousands on there. So I'll probably just, yeah, wait out until next year. Hopefully by next year, there'll be the seven nanometer GPUs. And right now the, these GPUs are 14 nanometer. So seven nanometer is half, which means you'll be getting even more power um, efficiency, which hopefully means um, a, a nice cooler solution. And maybe next year they'll work on the, the cooling solution a bit more. But uh, if you're fresh, it's it's a really good opportunity. You know, it sounds like a cool brand. I'd go, but yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, let's just, I'm, I'm just a bit confused. I think it's because it's night and I probably need to do some more tests. But to be honest, I've been testing for the last 12 hours. If anyone has any suggestions, I've still got my, my Vega. I haven't returned it yet. Um, I didn't buy it. My wife did. Uh, I think she was trolling me. I think she enjoys the pain and suffering I put into these videos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, sorry for the low energy. Again, it's 2 a.m. Uh, I got now three and a half hours of footage to nitpick and actually give some proper comparisons with. So I hope I've given you enough information to help you out. Yeah, I don't know why I like Sofitia. She reminds me of you. Oh, she's uh, oh, you like that girl as well. All right, we're doing some five, 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 six graphics. <laughs> I said X. <laughs> you got press A. Press A. All right. So far we got 40 frames a second on the loading screen. 60 again. I'm rewarding you, my friends, for watching this video. <laughs> See, no one else out there is gonna be playing these kind of games. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on. I think my one is nicer. Okay. Who thinks Ivy is nicer? Put your hands up. Oh, this game's fast. I, I don't know, just tap the buttons like crazy person. I don't know how to play this game. It's still 60 oh, frames a second. You. Yeah, I know. Hey, what are you doing? I don't know how to play this game. I just like watching, man. It's really fast, isn't it? I think I'm being you, guys. Whoa. Oh, whoa, what was that? All right, we're getting 60 frames a second and so caliber. Oh, ooh, see that shot? You beat me. Except I don't feel bad. I feel good. 